What is going on people of the Smart House Society? Matt here from mksmarts.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I control the power to most of my devices. Now the device I'm talking about is my DIY Smart Power Strip. The Smart Power Strip is a cheap DIY smart home device that I show you how to make, which means there will be four videos, demo, hardware, software, and deploy. This is the first video, the demo video, where I'm going to explain what this Smart Power Strip is, how the device works, and details about it, different use cases for the device, and then at the end I will show every possible way you can control the device. There are a lot. One easy detail about the Smart Power Strip is that it is on a PCB. PCB way is how you prototype the easy way. They offer PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, and SMD stencil. They have very fast turnaround times and they have very fast shipping. I've been using PCB way for over a couple months now and I have to say that it is one of the best I have ever used. If you're interested in getting into PCB prototyping, which I know some of you are because I've seen the comments, then check out PCBWay.com and when you go to checkout, use my cash code you see on the screen to get $5. And I thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. The Smart Power Strip is basically a device where you can turn on and off anything you plug into the three outlets. But just because in my hands I hold the North American outlets doesn't mean you can't use this internationally. Let's first take a tour around the device outside and a little bit inside. Alright, so on the front you have the face plates to cover up everything that's inside. You have your three outlets, which on each outlet there are two sockets, and each outlet is controlled. The individual sockets are not controlled, just the outlets themselves. So every two are controlled. And then on the side, there's nothing. This side, there's nothing. On the top, there's just the where the power cord comes out. And then on the back, there's also nothing. So it's overall just one big contained unit. If you wanted to, you can put this in like a, a wood uh, finish or you can spray paint it a different color. But for me personally, I'm fine with just the blue box because it's sitting behind a desk anyway. Now let's take a look at how it looks inside. All right, so first up we have the three outlets I was talking about. You can use whatever outlets you wanted. So if you're in the UK, you can use UK outlets and then just use a UK enclosure box. And then over here we have the control device itself. So we have the three relays that control each outlet and then there are wires going in from the bottom and then a bunch of other components. And as you can see all the wires are run underneath and they're all connected. I will get into specifics on how to make the device in the hardware video but essentially you just hook up the AC power to the device then connect the outlets to the device. The device is very universal as you can connect whatever outlets you want to it. You can even use the device to switch DC power instead of AC. So what are some use cases for the device? Well, for one, you can use it for desk setups, TV centers, bedside tables, workshops, and many more. I've been using this DIY power strip for my main desk setup, second desk setup, and my TV setup for over two years now. Basically, you can use this device anywhere that needs a lot of sockets. There's one note I would like to make about this project, and that is you need to be careful because this device will be controlling high voltage, so you are responsible for what you do. For your convenience at mksmarts.com shop, you can pick up a kit with everything you need to make the device that controls power delivery to each outlet. I also have a version of the kit that if you live in North America, it comes with every single part you need to make the device, such as the outlets and the enclosure. You can pick up a kit at mksmarts.com slash shop, links in the description. I don't have too many available. I also have an assembled option where I put everything together for you. Speaking of links, follow at mksmarthouse on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, because that's where I give you guys sneak peeks on future videos and ask your opinion about stuff. And it's also the first people to know when a video is coming out. Also, if you missed the live stream, I now have a Discord where we can all chat with one another. Link is in the description. Lastly, like I mentioned in the sound off basic video, I will be now giving away all the devices that I make. So this month you have a chance to win a DIY smart power strip control kit. Uh, the link to the giveaway is in the description and the winner will be announced the first Thursday of February. Now let me show you the device in action and every way you can control it. You can control the device with the Amazon Echo. Alexa, turn off monitors. 
Google Home. Okay, Google. Turn on monitors. Home Assistant. Open Hub. And HomeKit slash Siri. Turn off computer setup. If you want to make this device, pick up a kit at mksmarts.com slash shop. This device uses high voltage. Proceed with caution. Also be mindful of what you plug into the device because there is a maximum of how much power it can handle. I recommend only plugging in one device per socket on each outlet, meaning a total of six devices. One last thing I'd like to mention is this device makes automating your life a lot easier. For example, I have this thing automatically turn on my desk setup at 8 a.m. and turn it off at 2 a.m. to turn off and save power. In other words, it automatically turns on in the morning so I can get to work and then it turns off when I go to sleep. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm super excited about this guide. If you guys found this video helpful, smash that like button. If you are a smart enthusiast like me, hit that subscribe button. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or head over to the Discord or leave it on mksmarts.com slash forum. Goodbye. Hey. No, no, no.